Behind the Shades. My name is Kate Semenyuk and I'm a hypnotherapist. Have not done that for my whole life, by the way. I have been in many industries until I hit the rock bottom in my life and I decided, okay, I want to help others and I want to help others in a very deep way, which is working with the subconscious mind. 70 years ago, I moved to Canada from Ukraine and it has been one of the most transformational experience for me learning, diving deep into the different country, different culture. But at the same time, I grew so much in my mind and in my spirit. And people can find me on my website. If they want to work with me, they can book a consultation call. I am very active on social media. They can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and I have a very big YouTube channel where they can watch long content videos. Perfect. Well, thank you for that. And I must say it warms my heart to have a fellow Canadian on the show because I'm from Toronto, Canada. So where are you from? Calgary, Alberta. Calgary. One of my childhood friends is out there. So beautiful place. I was there last April, sorry, last year, April for the first time. And it was absolutely beautiful. And I can't wait to go there and visit again. So welcome, fellow Canadian. Welcome. Thank you. So let's start from the very beginning of your journey. How did you get into this and why is this something that you are doing today? So about four years ago, I realized that I'm kind of got to the point where nothing really works in my life. (laughs) Having a great family, having an amazing relationship, uh, having kids, I found out that why am I still not happy? What is missing? And so I went to see a psychologist and it was a very beautiful experience. And I went on and on and on and I realized like I'm just talking. I am talking and talking and I really want to to make some changes, but something was holding me back until I learned that what is holding me back is my subconscious mind, the 95% of my mind. And I'm working on 5% on analytical and logical mind. (laughs) Of course, you know, it's 10 out of 10. Your feelings mind is going to kind of win over. And so I decided to go deeper, deeper and look for methods and modalities that will help me. And one session, and I found it somehow by, by, you know, maybe it wasn't an accident. I don't believe in accidents, by the way. (laughs) It was definitely this experience was given to me, but I tried a hypnotherapy session, a specific method. I loved it, fell in love with it. And I was like, I want to do that. I want to do that. I want to help people. And I remember my husband was telling me all the time, Kate, you need to be a psychologist. You need to work with people. You're so good, like connecting to them, you know, like kind of building rapport with them. So please, please go. Well, you know, for 10 years, I was kind of ignoring that idea. But when the pain became too strong, that's when we make real changes. And that's how I got into the hypnotherapy school. And I dived right into working with clients. So for those who don't know, tell us a little bit about the hypnotherapy. What does it mean? And what does it entail when someone is going through it and wants to discover it for themselves? Yeah, so hypnotherapy has two directions. One is entertainment hypnosis. It's the one that you probably have seen on the show, you know, Stampede Show or some kind of cafes and bars and restaurants that do invite hypnotists to to do the hypnosis for entertainment. And that's a, a completely different story from the healing therapeutic hypnotherapy. Hypnotherapy is a journey that you go into yourself and you bypass that analytical mind because we we know already with analytical mind we know everything what we should do what we shouldn't do what we have to do what we could do we know that we have a full potential that we are lovable we are worthy but as soon as the trigger comes we kind of regress ourselves back to the limiting beliefs and feelings and emotions triggers reactions 
And so working in the hypnotherapy, which is a natural state of mind, the deepest hypnosis is asleep. So when people say, I can't be hypnotized, I always tell them, well, you can sleep, right? <laughs> which means you can absolutely go into hypnosis. Everyone can be hypnotized because it's a natural state of mind. Daydreaming, watching uh, Netflix without, you know, when you're going like zoning out, um, sleeping, uh, this, this meditations. Um, all of these are state, altered state of consciousness. And that's where you go into the subconscious mind. And in the hypnotherapy, um, it's a deeper work with the triggers, trauma, the feelings that were suppressed long ago. So if, we, if people feel like, ah, I don't get the result from, from inner work, from self-development or from uh, psychotherapy, traditional um, you know, psychoanalysis, um, it's good to explore an option that can go a little bit deeper. And you can absolutely resolve, look at the past with a different perspective. Because this is what happens, subconscious mind doesn't know time. So it kind of keeps you triggered all the time. But once you go there and you look at your past events with a different perspective, that's when you're, oh, oh, I'm not a child anymore. I don't have to do that anymore. It's like you told me before we started the recording, right? Like I came to peace with everything that happened in my life because I realized that I'm not a child and I'm not out of control, right? And I have a choice. Yeah, there was a point and I'm glad you mentioned that for those who weren't aware, um, Ken and I were talking um, offline before this and I shared a story about my childhood and I grew up without my mother or my father and it came a point in my life that I had a conversation. I was like, Terrain, do you want to be right or do you want to be happy? Because sometimes you just can't be both. Exactly. So I said, I want to be happy. So some of the things that I was holding on to, I just let go for my own peace of mind. And Kate, you mentioned meditation. There is times where, because I do yoga. I do my stretches, right? And I meditate. I remember there was a time when I first started it. I used to like construct realities in my mind, mm -hmm. right? And I used to just, as you mentioned, zone out. And I would actually close my eyes, focus in, and I would actually live a life that was a little bit alternate to what I go through in reality, right? Um, is that a part of the hypnotherapy Exactly. It actually tells a lot. Uh, once you told me that, I realized that you have a very, very strong ability for visualization, which means the imagination is so rich, you can create so many different experiences in your mind. And if you direct your mind towards positive, which you did, towards positive experiences, you can recreate it in reality.